Hey, welcome back everybody. It's me, KB. So in this video, I want to show you guys how to get 64-bit Android emulator. So it's not a 64-bit software. It's actually the actual Android 64-bit version. So you know, the most popular emulators are Bluestacks, Nox, MEMU. So believe it or not, but they are now starting to get the Android 64-bit support. So as of now, we were using the Android 32-bit. So uh, what is the difference between 64-bit and 32-bit? 64-bit is better, faster. It can handle more RAM, CPU, and all that kind of stuff. So 64-bit is better than 32-bit. That's all you need to know. So now let's just get into the tutorial, okay? So first, I'm going to show you the MEMU. So this actually happened recently. So download the MEMU emulator. And once you download the MEMU emulator, I will put a link in the description. Don't worry about that. You can go there and download. And once you download the MEMU emulator and you'll get the two desktop uh, icons. So you have to launch multi MEMU. OK, and just wait. OK, once you have launched the multi MEMU, you will you will have only one you know, I have actually created the Android 64 bit. So you'll have only one uh, instance here. So you, to get the Android 64 bit, what you have to do is click on new. Okay. Let me pull this little bit above so you can see it clearly. Click on new. And after that, you can see here, we have so many options. So to get the Android 64 bit version, in MEMU, you have to create the Android 7.1 64-bit. You just click on that and it will start downloading and creating the Android 64-bit. So the normal one is 32-bit, where it says 64-bit, it is the 64-bit. So I can just start and show you guys how it looks. It will look same, but remember, this is 64-bit, so it will support almost all 64 bit games apps and it will be faster if you have more ram and cpu you can give it to memu android 7.1 64 bit okay so yeah and one more thing uh, just breaking this thing right now here that i have a one pretty good news for the android emulator so just stay until the end because i'm just going to reveal that at the end okay <laughs> which is pretty cool in my opinion okay i'm not gonna say anything yet so this is the android 64 bit in mmu it will be much faster smoother you can adjust the settings you know you can make it fast or slow it depends on you actually so you can give more ram more cpu okay so you can tweak all the settings to make it fast so that's the thing in mmu okay so now next one who have got the Android 64 bit support is the Bluestacks. So normally how we download the Bluestacks simulator is that we visit to the official site of Bluestack to the main page, you know, then hit download. Actually, this way you will get the Android 32 bit version in Bluestacks. Okay, if you want to get the Android 64 bit version of Bluestack, then you have to go to this page bluestacks.com slash download i will put link in the description you can go there and download okay don't click on this download bluestacks just don't click on this actually choose the second option where it says or choose from the other bluestacks version click on operating system choose 64-bit windows okay and android architecture select and choose android 64 bit okay once you have selected these things the download option will appear and just click on download and it will start downloading and after that install okay once you install you will see i'm gonna search for as you can see it says blue stacks 64 bit but if you download the normal blue stacks it will only say blue stacks it won't say blue stacks 64 bit so now you can just launch it and this is the android version 64 bit bluestacks emulator okay so this is how it works so now yeah i don't have to show you you can do all the settings and you know as i said i'm just gonna close this and now for the final part 
the Nox. Actually, as of now, Nox don't have the 64-bit support. Okay, Android 64-bit support. But there is a news on the internet. I don't know how trusted this website is. But actually, Nox is going for the big, big thing. Okay, so as you saw, MEMU and Bluestacks have Android 7.1 64-bit. But Nox is going for Android 9 uh, according to this news okay so you can see this article says here 64 bit support android 9 coming to nox player so i don't know how trusted this website is so actually this is a you know pretty good website it was launched in 2006 so maybe this is well-known website okay i'm not saying anything but so according to this website and according to this article they say soon android 9 will come to nox player and this is a big thing for you know android emulator android emulators as of now they have only android 7 and some of them have the android 64-bit uh, support just like bluestacks and the memu but nox doesn't so maybe soon very soon nox will have 64-bit support plus android 9 which will be really big thing for other Android emulators because they have only Android 7. So once the Nox gets the Android 9 and 64-bit support, Nox will be the number one emulator from for a long time, unless someone else also makes the Android 9 and then we have to compete and see which one is better, you know, all that kind of stuff. You know how it goes, you know, without comparing, we can't say which one is better, but you know this is a fact that higher version means better so once the nox gets the android 9 it will be better i mean it will be the best android emulator so yeah it is still but uh, because of you know android 64 bit support nox is lacking behind little bit because they don't have the uh, 64 bit support so yeah, that's it. Hope you enjoyed it, guys. I will put link in the description for this news article plus Bluestacks plus MEM emulator download links. You can go there and download. And hopefully we will get the Android 9 very soon via Nox Android emulator. That's it. I will see you in the next one. Take care of yourself and have fun. Bye-bye.